Hey guys, today we're going to update our Atmosphere Custom Firmware to the latest Nintendo Firmware version 21.1. Zero, just follow my steps. This tutorial works for any Nintendo Switch Firmware version. We're going to start by turning off our Nintendo Switch so we can connect the SD card reader to the PC. There are two ways to do this. You can connect the micro SD card reader directly to your computer using an SD card reader or a USB adapter. Or, if you have access to Hackett on your Switch, you can connect it using a USB cable. If you have access to Hackett, just follow my steps. Once you have the micro SD connected to your PC, the first thing to do is delete all the old files. Specifically, we only need to delete the Atmosphere folder. Be careful when deleting files. Make sure not to delete the folders named Nintendo, Emu MC, or the Switch folder if you have any important homebrew installed. After deleting the old files, we'll copy the content that I'll leave in the pinned comment. These files include everything you need, including firmware 21.1 DAO0 in case you need to update. We will need to replace everything whenever the replace prompt appears. Once the copying is finished, disconnect the micro SD from your PC, insert it back into the Nintendo Switch, and press the power button to enter the Hecate menu. If you copied the files from Hecate, click the re Reload button to load the new files, just as shown in the video. If you tap the Launch button, you'll see three options. OFW to boot the official firmware, and then two Atmosphere options, Sysnand and Emunand. Choose the one you're using. This pack comes with Nintendo's DNS blocked for extra security, an important clarification. If you had older apps and homebrews, most of them stopped working on firmware version 21.0. You should go to the developer's websites and check if there are new updates available. At this point, if your console is already updated, everything should be ready. If not, I'll show you the steps on how to update it. Once Atmosphere is running to update, we need to go to Album and then launch the Daybreak Homebrew. From here, just follow my steps to update. Once it's finished, press Reboot. We'll return to the Hecate menu. We'll launch Atmosphere again, and everything will be ready and fully set up. As I'm about to show you, everything will be working. We'll check games, system version, and homebrew to make sure everything is functioning properly. And that's it for this video, my friends. I hope you followed my steps and that everything worked out well for you. If this video was helpful, please support me with a like and subscribe to my channel.